Okay guys, I got my iPad rigged up with uh, all sorts of stuff, tape and uh, I don't know what, because I want to do a um, drip pour. So I'm the first one to do a drip pour on internet. So if you want to do this, you have to credit me. Just kidding. So what I did is I have this, um, yesterday when I did the four cup flip, I, I scraped everything off the plastic. And I know how many of you love that, that I don't waste paint. So I put it all in this cup, I added a little bit of white, and I'm going to hang it up and let it flow. Oh, how am I going to do that without letting go of the hole? I don't know. Well, we'll just see. Here we go. And I want it to go slow. Oh, that is already really cool. <laughs> all sorts of cells coming out. So I have to put it in the middle. And I'll have to take off the... There you go. Oops, no, I don't want that. I want it to circle a little. Well, let's not circle it. We'll just see what it does. I'm going to let the cup just really uh, release it all and then see what we got. Who knows what'll happen. No, I did want it to go a little bit slower because it's coming out really fast. Kind of cool looking at it. I think I might even be able to take the guys out to show you a close up. Oh, I'm touching it. Don't do that. There it is. It's cool. That's how fast I really wanted it to go. Let's see if I can get you a little closer. I'm just going to let it drip a little bit more. Bring it back here in the stand. I hope it, it stays like that. Yes. Because if it falls over, it'll fall straight into the paint. So I've got to watch out. And that is about all of it. Yeah. Now I'll get some gloves on because I do want to tilt it, of course. Watch it a little because your bulb is gone. I think that's enough. Yeah, there's still a little bit of paint in there, but well, let's do it in the middle.
That's it. Okay. Now we got to make sure that it stays a little bit circular. Shall I put you guys up so you can see what I'm doing? Yeah, I think so. Put this one up here. Take the iPad out. Put this up here. Get you back in focus. Get the light out of the way. I should have made a corner catcher. It is kind of pretty. <laughs> I do like it. But I don't want to lose this. And I don't know how I'm going to do that. Keep that in the middle. There goes the first little bit of paint over the side. I should have had a corner catcher. Let's see. We'll use the one I used yesterday. Here we go. Got to do it a little faster. There it goes. Whoops. Taking it back. goes and back okay the, the, the center part is getting back in the middle so I like that now it's moving really slow but we got it and now I have to move the center back. Not too bad. Let's get some paint in here for the sides. That's cool. I didn't get any push pins in place. But this is looking cool. So there's a little spot, a little spot there, and everything is covered. That's it. But this absolutely calls for glitter. So let's put that up here. Sorry if my head is in the way, but I just got to do that. Now I'm going to use two glitters. One is the uh, holographic blue, my all-time favorite. And I think I'm going to take my gloves off for a bit for that, because I want to put it exactly where I want it. See, so like following some of these um, rings. So now I have a ring of holographic glitter. That's it. And then I have some micro glitter. And it is a beautiful color um, green with a little bit of gold in it. And I think it'll go right here. That's it. And down here. Wow, that is looking cool. That is really looking cool. Just a little bit more. I 
I bet you they have so much glitter there in Frankfurt in that art fair thing. They've got to have a bunch of that stuff there. Of course, I'll be taking my credit card. <laughs> I don't care. You know, if you if you see stuff that you've never seen before, eh, well, I don't buy clothes. Well, what I have on now I just bought, but it was a seven, seven euros for the top and seven euros for the pants. But I normally don't, don't waste much on clothes. What I usually did was um, go on eBay and look for stuff. I don't care if someone's worn it before. Who cares? I don't care. Okay, this is it. <sighs> I think this has uh, turned out to be beautiful. And no torching, that's right, because I like the way um, all these rings are moving and it reminds me of uh, some sort of a beautiful stone that is cut in half. So you have all these rings and stuff. Let me give you a close up. And then I'm going to use some of the drop off. Let's see. Why is it so close? See how the rings are formed? And, you know, now you see that glitter popping up really well, but you, w you won't see that in, in, in real life. Because I got three lamps uh, on it, so it's shining from all directions. Oh, there's my hubby. Thank you. He just brought me my big glass of uh, vegetable juice. I still take that every day. So now you see a lot of uh, the glitter, but you won't when it's ready. Like I said, it's because there's three uh, directional lamps on it, so it's getting lit up from all sides. But I think it's uh, a cool piece. Let's see if I can get you back in focus. There you are. So we'll have to find a place to put it. Oh yeah, I'll show you the fork up flip from yesterday that I'm not joking. See, it's perfectly, uh, the cells are perfect. But as you can see, it's still really, really wet. But it's under this plastic tent. But as you can see, the cells are perfect. They didn't go away. They just got a little bit better. <laughs> yeah. But I'll have to dry. Now, this one is ready to go. Look at that finish. It's like resin. The one with the dog in the tree. It looks like a resin finish. It's kind of cool. Okay, what else can I show you guys? I don't know. Oh yeah, I um, what I also did this morning was um, I googled uh, how to get the, um, you know, if I make those punches or cut something out with the brother machine, how I can get them to you really cheap. So, um, I'm thinking I could, oops, I should be talking here because you can't hear me over there. Look at that. That's, that's just happening right now. Can you see that? That thing there? That blooming? There's one, there's one, there's one, one, one. Here's one forming. That is kind of cool. It's just happening right, right now. I love that. Okay, so um, I can send um, about, I don't know, I think about... 20 cutouts for about, let's say, 3 euros to, uh, to America. So 20 cutouts for 3 euros. Yeah. So, um, but it won't have track and trace. So anyone willing to try that, be my guest. Tell me what you want, what sizes and um, what colors. And I'll do my best to do that. And um, we'll just uh, see how that works. But... Like I said, you know, I, can, I can't even imagine that um, a letter, that they lose a letter. They, they usually don't. I, I, I've never heard of someone losing a letter that they sent to uh, America. I really haven't. So um, that, 
I think that's going to work. So, making sure my painting is no drips on it. And I have to find a place. Oh, it's even getting bigger now. That is beautiful. That's adding to the painting. Okay, I am uh, going to stop. I'm going to put this on YouTube. And this is it for today. The rest of the things that I'm going to do, I'm going to be posting uh, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, like that. Okay? So thank you all for watching. And have a really beautiful Sunday. Take some time to relax. Listen to some good music. Glass of wine. Or pop or whatever. A nice cup of tea or coffee will do too. And put your legs up. And... Just, you know, think of chilling out. That's uh, always a good thing to do on Sunday. So thank you all for watching uh, this weekend. I love you all to pieces. Liebe euch alle. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye.